Lance Storm from Ninja Bunny Crochet. Today I have for us to do the matching dishcloth to the sponge that I did in the previous video. I will put a link in the description box below for the video for the matching sponge. But today I'm going to do the washcloth. So for this washcloth you will just need one ball of peaches and cream. Uh, cotton yarn. The color I'm using is called Sunshine and a 5.5 millimeter or an eye crochet hook. So once you have your yarn and your hook ready, let's get started working on this washcloth. To start the washcloth, we're going to start with a chain of 28 stitches. We're going to start second chain from hook. The loop on your hook does not count as a stitch. So we're going to one, two, and start in the second chain with a single crochet. Work one single crochet into each chain all the way across the chain. I will meet back up with you at the end of the chain. I'm at the end of the chain. We have 27 single crochets. To start row two, we're going to chain one and turn the work. In this very first stitch right here, we're going to place a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch and work a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch and work a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, work a single crochet, and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch, single crochet, and a double crochet. And this is your pattern all the way across. So continue working in pattern, skip the next stitch, single crochet, and a double crochet. To you get to the end of the row, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row, I have two stitches left. In this very last stitch, we're going to place one single crochet. To start row three, we're going to chain one and turn the work. So from here on out, we're just going to repeat row two. So the first stitch, we do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip that next stitch and do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip the next stitch and do a single crochet and a double crochet. We're going to continue in the pattern till we get to the end of the row and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of row three <clears throat> I have two stitches left. Just move my hook out of the way here. You may have to turn your work a little bit so you can see those stitches. One, two. You're going to skip that last stitch, that first stitch, and you're going to go a single crochet into that last stitch. So you're always going to start your work with a single crochet and a double crochet and end the row with a single crochet. Chain one 
and turn the work. And this washcloth is super easy to do. You just keep repeating row two until your washcloth measures eight inches. So you don't really even have to remember what row you're on. You keep going until you're about at eight inches. So I will meet back up with you when your washcloth measures eight inches. If you want your washcloth a little bit bigger, you can go a little long, you can go a little bit longer, a little wider. If you want it a little bit smaller, you can go a little bit smaller. But my tension, my washcloth measures about eight inches wide, so I'm gonna go eight inches high. So I'll meet back up with you when my washcloth is about eight inches long or eight inches wide, however you want to look at that. It'll be about a square. So I will meet back up with you in a little bit. I've got my eight inches of my washcloth completely done. And we're going to make one more row on the top. And then we're going to do a single crochet border. So for this last row, we're going to go ahead and chain one and turn the work. And we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row. I have 27 single crochet. To start the border, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn the work so that the ends of the rows are facing up. We're going to remember that we need to place three single crochets in each of the corners and then we're going to evenly place single crochets all the way down till we get to the opposite corner and we're going to place three single crochets in the corner then work our way all the way around to the next corner and do the same. Three single crochets all the way around to this corner and three single crochets all the way back to the beginning and slip stitch back into the first single crochet that we made. The big thing that you want to remember when you're doing your, your border is keep track of how many single crochets you put between your corners and then make sure you have the same amount of single crochets on the opposite side. Same when you do your ends. Along this end, make sure you have the same number of single crochets as you have on this side. That way your piece won't be crooked. So go ahead and put your single crochet border on and I will meet back up with you at the end. I made it all the way back around on my border. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch to that first single crochet that I made and fasten off. I can go ahead and weave that end in later. And let's bring the camera out. And here is our finished washcloth. And it matches the same pattern as the sponge from the previous video. So if you've liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.